Well, really, ever since the coalition government here in Germany uh, took to power, it's really been somewhat uh, of a balancing act for Berlin, relations with Beijing, that is. And I think this meeting with Premier Li just goes to show how well Olaf Scholz can really play that balancing act. Neither side really uh, looked in any way uh, interested in sort of addressing any issues uh, that they uh, there are discords in. Uh, Olaf Scholz, Chancellor Scholz, only briefly touched on uh, the situation with Russia, again, encouraging Beijing uh, to use its power, its pressure on Moscow to try to get them to end the war in Ukraine. Premier Li, however, didn't seem to be interested in discussing anything along those lines and went straight into how the two countries, the two powers, Houses really could work stronger together uh, to try to reignite what he called a rather stagnant uh, global economic recovery. Now, these economic issues are really what are keeping uh, the two countries very, very amicable. Germany, of course, depends quite substantially on China in that regard, and Olaf Scholz, of course, uh, acknowledges this. And so I, I don't think you're going to see, uh, in any time soon at least, anything from Berlin that, that will jeopardize that. While they really they need to diversify away uh, from China, uh, that's not going to be an overnight situation. Recent data, for instance, has just pointed to the fact that trade is even higher between the two countries uh, than ever seen before, and that Germany imported electronic components uh, from, from, from China more so than they ever have as well. Uh, the two countries, of course, are, are working very closely together in the automotive sector. Uh, Premier Li was here just this morning, a few hours ago, touring uh, the BMW uh, facilities uh, here in Bavaria. Uh, BMW, of course, has just celebrated its 20-year anniversary uh, in cooperation with its joint partner in China, China's brilliant automotive, and under uh, that umbrella, the two companies will be manufacturing BMW's Neue class uh, and batteries that will uh, that, that that will run these electric cars come 2026. Uh, a multi-billion euro project that's going ahead and is expected uh, to produce some words of uh, 2,000 jobs in the region. So the two countries really trying to uh, work closely together economically. They also uh, agreed uh, on some. Uh, climate change issues and uh, uh, sign some papers in that regard. So it's destination France next. Uh, what can we expect there? Yes, Premier Li has just left Germany on his way to Paris, where he will be attending uh, the summit for a new global financial pact, which is really focusing on financing schemes that can be used uh, in order to fund more projects for climate change, uh, biodiversity crisis, and uh, developmental challenges. Now, this uh, summit will be taking place Thursday and Friday. It's also in cooperation with Barbados and India, and it's all being hosted by the French President, Emmanuel Macron, who, of course, uh, returned from a trip himself to Beijing back in April, where he met with uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping, in which they had very fruitful cooperation and agreements.